What is up, Quo Quo? Welcome back to Hogwarts. Let's see, here we go. It's quite uncommon for a student to begin as a fifth year. Might be a bit of work, but I'm sure that's never stopped you before. It hasn't, Professor. Now, here we are at the entrance to the Hufflepuff Common Room. Where the kids in? This is the entrance. Indeed. I will explain what to do, but I hesitate to do it myself as one errant knock leads to being doused in vinegar. Most unpleasant. You must tap the barrel, two from the bottom, middle of the second row, in the rhythm of Helga Hufflepuff. Well done. Now go on in and get some sleep. You have a big day ahead of you tomorrow. I shall be back in the morning to collect you for your first class. Thank you, Professor Weasley. You're welcome. Last episode. I hope you enjoy your first night at Hogwarts. Sleep well. We did the um, Slytherin side of the game. And in this episode, we are doing Hufflepuff finally. Looks like everyone's gone. Better head to the common room. Whoa, okay. I feel like this would be in like a tree because of just the wood and the leaves. We had red, blue, green, and now we have yellow. Have you ever seen a professor outside the That's... I find it That's a little funny, actually. You know what I'm I actually want to Google that. My favorite room in the school is the library. It always smells of fresh parchments. I adore spending sunny afternoons in the viaduct courtyard. Because I was thinking Wonderful of something and I want to... On other students first. Dang it! It was red and green yeah, first, then blue for Pokemon. As I go, we did the wizard, then we did the one after that, then we did yellow because yellow came out like two years after. And then we got red and blue. We never got green in America. Wait, what? The fourth of summer. Was released in 1996 as Pocket Monsters Red and Pocket Monsters Green. Was this special edition Pocket Monsters Blue? Released in the same year. And they released Pokemon Red and Blue in 1988 in America. And then there was Yellow in 1999. And Green only got an official release as Leaf Green in a. Uh, when they remastered them for the Game Boy Advance. That's actually interesting, I didn't know that detail. I don't remember most. What's this? I doubt there's ever been mm. a headmaster as hated as Black. Oh, Uncle, this doesn't Do sound like you. Me. Something's wrong. Oh. Hello there. You're the new Hufflepuff, yes? I'm Adelaide. Pleasure to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Is everything all right? Oh, yes. I'm just a bit distracted. Letter from my uncle. So tell me, I've been hearing all sorts of rumors. Were you really nearly gobbled up by a dragon? That one is true. Not the typical start to a new school. That's dreadful. Well, I'm glad you made it here alive. Well, anyway, I imagine you have lots to do. I hope you have a wonderful first day. Thank you, Adelaide. Be seeing you. Of course. And good luck. I said that the conversation. Dang it! The headmaster hates everyone who isn't a pure blood. Arthur's got you. It's all right. You don't need to be frightened, little cat. Uh, I can't quite reach. Uh. Come on, you went that way. Hope they can catch him. Big castle for a student to get lost in, let alone a cat. <laughs> I'm sure you'll find your way, all right? I mean, it can be a bit overwhelming at first. I still get lost sometimes. 
Welcome to Hufflepuff, by the way. Really glad to have you in our house. I'm Arthur. Thank you. Nice to meet you. Was that your cat? No. One of the first years, I think. Don't have any pets of my own, unfortunately. My mother doesn't think too highly of them. Especially magical ones. I'm sorry to hear that. I think magical beasts are rather incredible. Best thing about coming to Hogwarts. Nifflers, Glumbumbles, Bowdruckles. I thought they were only pictures in books before. Well, Dad did bring home a puff skein once. Mum was furious. <laughs> anyway, I'd better go make sure the first years caught that cat. Don't want them to be late on their first day. Nice meeting you, Arthur. And good luck finding that cat. Thank you. Try not to get lost in the castle yourself. Such a beautiful owl. Oh, hello. She's awfully regal, isn't she? Is that your owl? I don't know whose she is. Likely one of the Hufflepuffs around here. Owls choose their own company anyway. Wait, you're the new fifth year. Quite the dramatic entrance you made. Can't imagine wanting to call attention to yourself, especially since everyone will be watching to see how much you already know. I am a bit concerned. I have a lot of catching up to do. Indeed. Four years of schoolwork is a bit... Being that far behind, I'd feel so... Inadequate. Of course, presumably, as a hard-working Hufflepuff, you'll prove yourself in no time. I'm hard-working too, as you might suspect. But sometimes I think I should have been a Ravenclaw. I've rather a searing wit. <laughs> At least people have always told me so. I'm Lenora, by the way. Lenora Everly. Well, mustn't keep you. You've such a lot to do. It was nice meeting you, Lenora. Of course. Adieu. Is the new Hufflepuff out of bed yet? Professor Weasley's waiting for them outside the common room. How do you know that if you're sitting right there? So these is where, where the way I said that. So this is the common rooms. What the benches? That is this. And then this is the staircase. I want to see how even this is because Slytherin threw me off. Hogwarts always has another mystery to discover. The seven again! What is? Why is it unevenly proportioned? Especially because you uh, get oh, seven years students all the time. It is ridiculous. Unless there's more rooms down here, but I don't think there is, and oh my god, is there? What? Ah, damn it! <laughs> there's the house chest. Okay, never mind, there's 14. Wow, still doesn't make fully much sense with the whole seven year kind of thing. The students. Seven and seven at least makes sense. Alright guys, when we come back, we'll get to see what the quest for Hufflepuff is, alright? Be right back.
And we are back. What's literally like a second or two for you was hours for me. Once we get back to that point, we get this letter. Up to doing post into the herbology and the first Merlin trial. I should like to retire to a small hamlet when I'm older. One just like Brockborough. You wanted to see me, sir? Indeed. Allow me to introduce myself. So few students know who I am these days. Heldridge Diggory, former Minister for Magic and founder of the Aura Recruitment Program at your service. I believe you can help solve a decades-old murder, thanks to that book you found, and, in particular, its missing pages. How do you know about the book? And the pages? We portraits here more than you might suspect, and most of us can keep a secret. So, what say you? Surely a Hufflepuff such as yourself would be inclined to help seek long overdue justice. Yeah. This could be right up my street. Even we Hufflepuffs enjoy a good mystery. Glad to hear you are up to the challenge. Plus, I believe you'll benefit from this undertaking. My great niece, Helen Thistlewood, can provide you with details. She's retired now, but was a skilled aura in her day. And the unsolved murder of which I speak was her case. I often visit my portrait in her home, in the nearby hamlet of Upper Hogsfield. Shall I tell her to expect you? How could a few pages of a book help her solve an old case? A boy disappeared with those pages, but they never found the body. A girl was convicted of his murder nonetheless. It seems those pages could exonerate her somehow. My great niece can tell you more. Can you tell me more about your great niece? Cream of the crop when it comes to auras. A star pupil here, and then an exemplary servant to the ministry. And her spark hasn't diminished one bit in her retirement. She and I often chat about old cases and our glory days. No offense, but it's nice to get away from the students and converse with someone who's familiar with my legacy. When were you the Minister for Magic? Over a hundred years ago. 1733 to 1747, to be precise. The stories I could tell you... Oh, didn't have the chance to do all that I could. I was in the midst of reforming Azkaban when my life was cut short by dragon pox. I was sneezing sparks to the bitter end. I shall go and see her right away. Brilliant. With what I suspect is your knack for hard work and her keen mind, both mysteries may be solved sooner than you think. I shall see you there. Soon, I hope. Ah. Uh. Ah. Uh. Crap. Crap. I don't have that unlocked. Oh, that's so not good.
Ah, uh, boy. Ah, uh, no, no, no! Dang it, game! That chimed in. Oh my god. Oh, I did a lot of expelling armor. Place has seen better days. Ah, uh, there's the other ones. Huh. This must be the place Minister Diggory mentioned. Helen lives around here some... Ah, here you are. I'm pleased to see you took my advice. Madam Thistlewood, I met your great uncle in his portrait in my common room. He sent me to speak to you. I'm pleased you came. Uncle Eldritch believes the book you found and its missing pages may be relevant to an unsolved case from my time as an aura. Very well. I'm listening. Decades ago, a student named Richard Jackdaw disappeared after going to meet a girl named Anne. They never found his body. When his headless ghost appeared briefly in Hogsmeade, wholly unaware of how he died, Anne was convicted of his murder and sent to Azkaban. It was in large part due to the testimony of a girl called Apollonia Black. Jealous of Anne, I think. That sounds terrible, but I'm not sure how I can help. Anne's alibi was somewhat labyrinthine. She said Jackdaw promised her adventure following a map he found on some pages he'd stolen from Peeves. And you think Peeves ripped those pages from the book I found in the restricted section? Of if my great uncle is to be believed, yes. At least that's what the portraits at Hogwarts suspect. Anne 
insisted Please. that Jack Daw had asked her to follow the map with him, but only after she solved a series of puzzles he'd prepared. Odd way to woo a girl. She swears she never even solved the first puzzle, so they didn't meet. Jagdor's ghost vanished almost as soon as he appeared. Without Jagdor's puzzle, pages, or remains, Anne was sent to Azkaban based solely on Apollonia's spurious testimony. I don't understand. What can I do to help? I believe Anne may have solved the first puzzle by now, but after spending time in Azkaban, she's a shadow of her former wait, self. Wait, what? She won't speak to anyone she doesn't trust, and she trusts no one. If you, a student with a connection to the pages, like Jackdaw had, spoke to Anne, she might reveal new information. I've always wanted to see Azkaban. Count me in. I suppose it has a peculiar appeal to some, but it can be terribly disconcerting. Fortunately, being a retired aura has its benefits. We can apparate right to her. I've escorted ministers, professors, and many others to that blasted place. Never a student, I'll admit, but I will keep you safe. Very well. Let's go. Steady yourself. We'll apparate together. Don't worry. I've never splinched anyone. Do take care now, and tread lightly in that horrible place. We'll be there in but a moment. Wait a minute, the headless hunt wasn't long. The alley was pathetically short. The Smithland one was also short. Yes! Expecto Patronum! That ought to keep them at bay for now. Though, be aware, you may feel a wave of despair. It will pass. Thank you for the warning. This really is a dismal place, but we'll be out of here soon enough. Now follow me. Now, I want to explore. Do keep your wits about you. Oh, I never thought I'd see the inside of Azkaban for myself. Nasty Dementors. Not even I could convince the Ministry to send them off. There's no need for such monsters. Careful around, Anne. She's been here a lot longer than the rest of us. Why torment me further? No one at school's going to believe this. Now remember, Divorce. Anne has been here a long time. The Dementors aren't kind. Have patience and speak to her quietly and respectfully. Why would I send Sebastian here? Are you Anne? Who's there? Who speaks to me? Is that death finally come for me? I'm a student from Hogwarts. I found the book that you said would exonerate you. Ah, the book, the book. No one would look. None of the mages found the pages. Methinks the feckless knave meandered to his cave. My fate was surely sealed in Upper Hockey Field. Are you saying that the missing pages are in a cave? 
near Upper Hogsfield. Hogs, Hogs, fields, fields, ruins, house, a vault concealed. A vault in some ruins near Upper Hogsfield. I suppose it can't hurt to look. Can't hurt to look, can't hurt to look. Go find the pages from your book. Helen, Helen, know you're here. Come in closer, be a dear. What is it, Anne? Hmm. <laughs> when I heard that we were going to ask him, I thought we'd get more. I wish that was a place. Go. The cave. You're safe now. You have what you need. I'll be all right once I get... Help. I help. But, Madame Thistlewood, I... Oh, all right. I'll find it. I'll find Jackdaw's cave. Is it taking me to the same cave? No, it is not. Okay. Shane Bardolph thought dark magic was the answer. I reckon Rookwood's played a hand in his disappearance. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Hang on, wait a minute. If I'm correct. Oh, won't let me do that? You, oh, I can, okay. Try it out! Ah, oh, dang it! No! <laughs> it was too short! <laughs> Why? <laughs> Why could it be a bigger body of water? Oh, if it was... No, that does not look safe at all. If a fall from that height killed me, I'm... 
Oh, screw it, the long time's not worth it. <sighs> what the? Get the stairs, dang it! This could prove dangerous if I'm not careful. Okay. There we go. This must be the place Anne told me about. No one's been here for ages. Revelia. <laughs> You'll not outfox me, Jackdaw. Accio. You couldn't outwit me, Jackdaw. Now, where's the clue you left behind? A note from Jackdaw. Anne never found it. So how did he die? Was she to blame at all? I mean, we all know that that's not true, but... Could it be? Someone solved my puzzle after all these years. Well done indeed. Richard Jackdaw, at your service. The Richard Jackdaw? I heard you disappeared years ago. You have some explaining to do. I do? That was my puzzle you solved. What are you doing here? A retired aura, Helen Thistlewood, told me about a map you stole from Peeves, and then Anne told me about a cave. You saw Anne? Broke my heart. I had to go on without her. Probably best for her in the end. Dare I ask? How is she? She was imprisoned in Azkaban for your murder. Why didn't you exonerate her? What? Azkaban? Oh, poor Anne. I had no idea. I thought she'd written me off. I've been travelling the world for years to mend my broken heart. I came back here only recently, on a whim. I must speak to the aura you mentioned and see how I can help Anne. I'm glad to hear it. Before you go, would I still be able to find the pages with the map Helen mentioned? I'm almost certain I dropped them in the cave the moment I was beheaded. They're bound to be mouldering away with the rest of me. Tell you what, meet me at the edge of the Forbidden Forest, and I'll show you precisely where to find them. Thank you. I need to find those pages to help a friend. I shall see you there. Uh, if I'm correct, that means our next quest is this one. Well, I think it is, but... Alright, guys. When I come back... We will be doing our final quest, alright? I'll be right back. And we are back for the final time. Last cut, I promise. As you guys can see, we have <laughs> mostly everything. We have, we are missing two enemies, and they come from a quest we have yet to do, and we're missing clothing, which also comes from something we have yet to do. Wait, what? Oh, 
Oh, oh, oh, oh, oh, oh, oh, oh. There we go. I'm just like... I just... I just got collectors of this, and I think that's from collecting everything. Which is not true. Okay. So most of this, st this stuff here is DLC. But I don't have this done yet. Which is weird. But yes, now we saw the Ravenclaw, Slytherin, and Hufflepuff. Quests. To be fair, the most interesting one was Hufflepuff. Going to see Azkaban? Are you kidding me? Everyone loves Azkaban. The, the location, not going there. Oh God, that <laughs> that's not something you want to go to. Speaking of Hufflepuff. I was hoping this doesn't take too long because I do have a time limit. Pardon me? Hello. Is there something I can help you with? How do you do? I'm Sacharissa Tugwood, and I have an exciting business proposition for you. Now, it may surprise you to learn that someone of my obvious esteemed lineage would be in business. But I only want to help the less fortunate. That's incredibly nice of you. Oh, there's more. You see, I've been experimenting with a new beauty cream. A cream that will rid our glorious school of the hideous, greasy pustules plaguing our poor pubescent classmates. But wow. I've run out of the key ingredient, boobatuba pus. Boobatubas do grow in the forbidden forest, however. If only I could pay someone to collect a few for me. Pay? I can try and find some for you if I have the time. Marvelous. I'd go myself, but I don't want to. I only need a few booba tubers, but they grow wild, so you'll have to look around. Our spotty classmates are counting on you, so you mustn't tarry. Into the Forbidden Forest for booba tubers. I hope it's worth the risk. Yeah, the curve of this hat of Stacey's too scared to go into the Forbidden Forest. That would have made her less vain. So less vain. Uh, I miss just using this stuff. Being able to fly, being able to. I almost said glide. Funny enough. Being able to use that fast travel. Well, can't see. Okay. This is where Sakurissa said to go. And where are those booba tubers? Go for it down easy. Oh, that smells awful. Only four more than it does. Bombarder! Revelio. In case you're wondering, you yes. I did turn on the whole spider thing. Wait, what the? Just my luck, troll.
Revelio. It's like a weird plan. That should do it. I'd better get back to Sakarissa now. Oh, so Sakarissa? That's as fake of a name as the claimed Jewish student in Harry Potter. Anthony Goldstein. That is not made up. Look it up. I swear to God, that is not something I made. You would have seen it with my characters doing the quests. <laughs> wow, I have so much Sakarissa, I found the book with tubers you needed. Splendid. <laughs> I hope it wasn't too much trouble. May I have them? Of course. Happy to have found them for you. Thank you. And your payment, of course. Now I can begin perfecting my potion to save our poor pimply peers. Don't know who should be more grateful. I or our unsightly spotty classmates. Okay, you don't need to stay there anymore. One day the wizarding world will know my name. And you will have been a small part of it. And for Terry for achievement! Level 40! Yay! The Good Samaritan. I believe that's side quests. Because the last one is DLC. I've said this before. And I just now have... Let's see. First up, we have one challenge. All the quests are done, but additional content is not. I just need to claim this. And I want to get the last one of this. All right. Next time on Hogwarts Legacy, the finale. We will get the House Cup. We will go to the House Cup. But first, we have two loose ends to tie up. Alright. I'll see you guys then.